What is your high school crush doing now? I think she is climbing mountains and traveling the world. Or at least some of the world. Meanwhile. I haven't left the safety of my house in 8 months. Semicolon. I went home for a weekend about 3 weeks ago. I've been away for 20 years. With visits maybe once every 2 years. I'm married. 2 kids. Good life. From what I know about her. She's married. One kid and is a teacher. I was shopping at the local grocery store and I saw her. I was flabbergasted. She looked the same as an HS. I however have gained 70 pounds. Went bald and have a thick luscious beard. I got nervous. We were amazing friends from the time we were 5 until I left for school at 19. We did a lot of stuff together. Close bracket. I missed an opportunity to say hi in an aisle. I was too nervous. We ended up checking out at separate lanes at the same time. I'm sure I was staring at her. She walked by on her way out and I chickened out again. She loaded her bags in her sub and I loaded mine. I started my truck and drove over to her and rolled down the window and said holly? She said nope. I'm Robin Woods. He's married to his high school girlfriend. When I was a sophomore he was a senior and I wrote him a note and asked him out to get coffee. He was so polite about turning me down. Todd. You beautiful man. If you're reading this. Hi and thanks for not crushing a 16 year old to pieces. Edit. For everyone asking he told me he was very flattered I had asked him on a date and politely declined because he was in love with his girlfriend, now wife. He was cordial and honest. After that he would wave to me in the hallway when we passed each other. Everyone should be nice like Todd. Todd how'd you did IT again? E. I got platinum. Thanks BB. Watching TV in our room. We reconnected almost 20 years after high school. I'm planning on proposing next month. I was actually thinking about her the other week. She graduated and never got on social media. So I never was able to befriend her on Facebook. None of my friends even remembers her as I describe what she looked like and everything. So I'm thinking she never existed and I'm just crazy. She's married to a guy in the MLB. Before me she dated another guy who made it to the NBA. I'm decent at beer pong and throwing a frisbee though. She actually published a book last year. Finished an MBA. And works in banking outside of that. I assume she's doing pretty well. I'm fairly happy for her. Though she kind of spiraled into a I'm very insecure about my life. So I'm going to talk down to you about everything period. I haven't talked to her in any meaningful capacity in a couple of years now. Though I hope she's going pretty good. She's working for Nickelodeon on that pinky malinky thing. She is a therapist and happily married. How does that make you feel? Recently found out I was the high school crush of my high school crush. Prison. I did. However. Hook up with him before prison. His dad developed Huntington's and his mom left the family as a result of the strain. Last I heard. He had moved back home to help take care of his dad. He has siblings and I don't know if he or anyone else chose to get tested. She was an exchange student who I was absolutely over the moon for. We had a few dates and I think she was fairly sweet on me. But didn't want to get too involved with someone who would soon be on the other side of the world from her. And I think a little bit of cultural stigma at play as well. Now she's a professional athlete of some note. I think she competes with her national team. Naturally I still have vague notions of us getting back together someday. I'm not sure. But I know he did get a teaching degree so hopefully he got a good job and is enlightening kids somewhere. I actually went to the same college that he did. And just before he graduated I simply sat down with him and confessed that he had been my crush back in high school. He turned bright red and said he was surprised he was anyone's crush. He was caught up in sports and extra classes and didn't date much. He thanked me and gave me a hug. And somewhere in my head my 16 year old self shrieked with glee. She met someone like a decade ago and they've been married for many years now. 
He's a good dude and I'm happy for her. They're both good people. She's married. Two kids. I think she's a stay at home mom. But I'm not 100% on that. We were best friends from like age 8. Lived down the street from each other our whole lives. After HS we fell out of touch. And although I've thought about her from time to time. I never looked her up. About a year ago her mom added me on FB. So I did a little light stalking. Saw she was married with kids and left well enough alone. I'm happy for her. She's spreeling out of control due to severe mental health issues. She refuses treatment and s on any attempt from anyone to give her advice on how to cope with it. She's afraid of treatment but can't seem to do anything about it on her own. Ironically she's in school to become a psychologist. I just googled her. Yeah. She's still hot. Got back together with him after 38 years apart. We had 8 wonderful years before he died of cancer. He's been gone 3 years now and the loss is still fresh. But I am so glad we had those 8 years. Heroin. He stopped smoking weed all day. Became a graphic designer in a decent firm and got engaged with an amazing woman. We're all great friends now. Divorced after cheating on his ex-wife and trying to wiggle his way into my life. Dut. No thanks. IDK. She's a crossfit bodybuilder now. I am struggling to go to the gym once a week. Hopefully signing the LPOA to transfer the title on my car we own together. Blonde. Married a Hispanic guy. Has with 3 kids. Happy. I'm a Hispanic guy married a blonde but no kids, yet, and also happy. Guess we were each other's type but didn't click. My high school crush is my late husband. That was really hard to type yet therapeutic. She's sleeping with horny boys. I have two. Semicolon. One is happily married to her wife and serving the military. The other is in the FBI. Semicolon. I think I have a type. Semicolon. I'm just here hoping to find out I was someone's high school crush. Married. Expecting her second kid. Safe to say she did better with romance than I did. Hey that's okay champ. He's living with his boyfriend on the coast of California. No. I didn't know he was gay. These days. She spends most of her time in her grave. She came out as a lesbian and started dating my best friend. I have since come out as gay so we're all just friends now. Life up. Finds a way. Sadly. She passed away years ago. He's on a snowboard trip with our 11 year old daughter. Married to me. Edit. And right now she is mad at me for spending too much time on reddit. Five kids from five different guys. She's married but we recently met up a couple years ago, which was nine years after graduation, and we slept together. It brought some insane feelings back. I think it did for her too. Several months after that she told me she was getting married in an almost apologetic email. I wasn't sure what I was supposed to say so I congratulated her and told her I was happy for her. She's the one that got away twice. Make this a ritual. Every 9 years. Meet up. Hook up. Go back to life. On the third cycle. Have a notebook like romance and live happily ever after. She sent me a Facebook message recently when I updated my relationship status with my current girlfriend saying she's like me since high school. We're 25 now. I haven't lived in my hometown in 3 years and I'm in a very happy relationship now. Maybe you should have told me this when I was really into you and we went to school together. But what do I know? Obviously break up with current GF to go out with a girl who liked you back in high school and didn't decide to tell you till 7 years after you graduated. The one from the first half of HS is an actress in Nick and engaged to a British guy. The one from the latter half is an actress in Chicago. Is British herself and is dating some guy with one eye who likes to surf Reddit. We reconnected after college and pulled the whole romcom I had a huge crush on you. 
I didn't know you had one on me too. Thing. We've been officially together for almost 3 years now and she's the best thing in my life. He's married. Had two fabulous kids. Him and his wife own a ranch where it looks gorgeous. I'm divorced. Unemployed. Trying to restart my life in my mid 40s and it just. It's hard. Edit. Holy crap. RIP inbox. Indeed. Thanks for the gold. Kind stranger. So. For those who are all he might be miserable. You never know I actually keep in good touch with him. And can confirm he is happy. I'm not bitter, well. I sometimes have waves of bitterness. But not at him. Just at life in general. And I am holding myself together. Thank you for all the kind thoughts. Just remember you're only seeing the highlight reel of his life. I think he's married to his high school sweetheart. Married to me. 10 years after HS we found each other again and had babies and stuff. Real life teen girl fantasy right here. But he leaves his socks in the floor like any other dude. Been together for 14 years. We're old. Edit. Spelling. In a long term relationship with her girlfriend. I'm a guy. And no. She isn't remotely B. We're still on good terms. She was lying to herself more than she was lying to me. I'll never forget what it was like when I got my second girlfriend and thought. Oh. So this is what making out feels like when your girlfriend is actually attracted to you. This is great. My first girlfriend is currently working a job that allows her to cut up corpses for minimum wage. It's a work study job for our university and many other options were available. I work at work study job. I shelve books in the library. She's a fun girl. Getting a divorce unfortunately. He married a really nice woman, it appeared anyway. Adopted her son. Then had a child with her. And now they are getting divorced 2 years later. I'm pretty sad for him. He was a nice dude and one of my really good friends. We share a lot of friends in common. So we are all pretty upset for him. He's been completely blindsided. Probably getting plowed by her husband while their kids watch TV. Dating a guy who looks an uncomfortable amount like me. It sucks. Transitioning female to male. Did not expect. One went on to be a professional photographer. The other one I still my best friend to this day. I'm 80% sure she's grooming me to be someone she can eventually be with. I know it sounds odd but over the years she's taught me how to kiss the way she likes. All her little spots she likes being touched. How to wash and fold her clothes. And how to make all of her favorite foods. Either that or she's prepping me to be a useful slave in the future. She owns a dress shop and practices wicca. Married to a guy who refuses to work and claims to be a writer. Married to her HS sweetheart. Couple kids too. Just looked her up on FB. Almost accidentally added her. Smooth. Living a pretty decent bachelor life it seems. Just bought a condo. Travels a lot of fun places. Has a good group of dude bro friends. And is really close with his family. Still very handsome so I'm sure he's doing well for himself lol. Edit. OMG my first gold. Thank you. Probably taking a nap in our bed with our puppy. Been dating since second semester grade 10. We'll have been together 9 years this March. He's married. Has 2 kids. And is a teacher in a different state. I've been with my boyfriend for 8 years and as much as I love him. I have yet to feel the crazy rush of feelings my high school crush gave me. I miss being a teenager sometimes. There were so many feelings all the time. Same thing I'm doing but not with me and after time you realize that is exactly the best thing for everyone involved. It's just a blip in your timeline meant to teach you about yourself. Go have fun. It took 30 years. But we now live together and are getting married before long. Did. I posted the story here in this comment thread. She was a model. Then stopped after they put her on a 3 apples a day diet. She I'm gorgeous. 
5 6 and Barbie doll figure and they said she needed to lose weight she was smart enough to call it quits she was released from prison a few years ago and she's trying to get her life back on track mostly though she's been working some Thai retail gigs and doing what she can to stay afloat don't know much else though we haven't really spoken in years from what I understand she cheated on me then later she got a job working in a medical office and had sx with a married military doctor which ended up getting both of them in trouble now I think she works as a waitress at a cheap restaurant I didn't have a high school crush my grade school crush is dead and my freshman of college crush is in jail lol hum maybe I should check on the guy I thought was kinda cute in high school being a total badass two kids single mom has a job goes to school still finds time to take her kids out and make some great memories we're actually good friends now and I notice she never ever frowns I never see her sad she's downstairs working in her craft room I think organizing her quilting supplies but I'm not sure she is living her life somewhere not remembering me. How do I know this? She came into where I work and wear a name tag and addressed me as sir. I said oh hey. How ya been? She was very confused and I was pretty deflated. It hasn't been that long. I had the biggest crush on my friend's brother. When I finally worked up the courage to tell him that I liked him. He apologized because he had just started dating someone else. He had a lot going for him senior year but got into selling drugs. He got busted and spent some time in jail. Last I heard. After he got out of jail. He married the girl he was dating when I told him I liked him and they have 4 kids now. Sometimes I think maybe his life would have been better with me but maybe my life would have been worse with him. In jail because she stabbed her boyfriend. So. I guess bullet dodged. Nope. You dodge a knife. Apparently deactivating and reactivating his Tinder account. But still hasn't swiped right on me. Colon. She is making dinner at the moment. Hamburgers. She is wearing her blue shirt that I like. I'm going to watch her sleep later and maybe smell her hair. It's not creepy. I swear. About to get married. I don't know what her actual job is but she breeds various large dogs and sells them like $1 care pop. Socially. She's been married. They both cheated on each other. She had a kid that wasn't his. And she's divorced living in a trailer chain smoking cigarettes. Not sure but she was gorgeous. She was super shy and then came out of her shell after high school. Had to. First one ended up being a bipolar denier who still refuses to seek help. Has been married and divorced three times. Has changed her name and state she lives in and lives alone with cats. Second one ended up marrying the guy she met after me. But never had any children. Came to find out from her mom years later when I visited her with my family that she never wanted any children and broke up with me because of it. You could say it is strange that I visited my ex's mom with my wife and kids. But she is literally my parents next door neighbor. So yeah. Not so weird. He's married to a super cool girl. Honestly he scored. They have the cutest kids on the planet. I'm married too. And expecting my first. I don't hate. Most of. My exes. I dated them for a reason. Right. High school teacher. Turned out a beautiful person. Just as I thought she would. B. The one that got away. Do you have asthma? I'm a B guy. I had two huge high school crushes. Both of which were my best friends at one point. One was a guy. One was a girl. Those two are currently engaged. I only got one real crush in high school. And that's my girlfriend. My middle school crush however. He's gone missing off the face of the planet. I have a sneaking suspicion that he actually killed himself. He is dead. A massive heart attack killed him in his early 40s. Damn it. 
This is the third mention of heart attacks in early 40s. As a 42 year old who had a chili cheese dog and tots for dinner I am starting to freak out. In high school one of my best friends. Also my crush. Wanted to go to UNLV and study hospitality management and work her way up to running a Vegas hotel casino. She chose a cheaper local college and state which is fine and made sense. But after her junior year she got an internship offer to work for a Vegas strip hotel for the summer and a decent shot at a job there afterwards based on the program history. She passed on this opportunity because being away from her family was too much of a trade off for her. I never understood that. We stopped being friends, the crush had been long gone. I couldn't see her the same and things I thought we had in common no longer existed. She is married and happy I think so I guess it worked out. I just can't understand how someone could want something for so long and then just let the chance go. Comma I just can't understand how someone could want something for so long and then just let the chance go. Perhaps not a crush per se. But when my ex-girlfriend and high school sweetheart broke up with me. She told me she was thrilled to have the person holding her back from living and working in her dream country of Germany finally off her shoulders. Flash forward two years later. She's working at a small engineering firm in Winnipeg. Canada. Funny how the world works sometimes. It's crazy to me that so many people can keep up with a crush from HS. It's not that I'm saying I'm too busy too. I'm not. I just honestly don't want to know. It would just bring back feelings for me. Semicolon. Still being my high school crush. She's a successful lawyer. But also went blind due to some kind of genetic disorder. So. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Not that being blind is a bad thing. I just remember how much she'd complain when she had a headache or whatever. Probably sitting at home doing homework. So am I. I'm in high school. Wish me luck. Reel all these comments carefully. Learn some things. Decaying in a pine box in Florida. Or however they bury people in that wretched state. Well she's not sitting on the front porch drinking whiskey with me. So probably doing much better. We dated for 4 years. She's almost been with her new BF 4 years. I think they're gonna get married considering we're in our late 20s. She informed me we couldn't keep going as friends the other day when I texted her asking how her PhD is going. After being friendly for the past couple years. Oh well. This is fine. Just another moment that will haunt me forever. He married someone who looks like me and is a salesman and has two kids. I married someone who looks like him and I am not a salesman and I have one kid. She married one of the arsehole football players that used to pick on me in high school. And she still looks good. I hate life. Being married to his husband. I was his naive beard all through high school. One is on his fourth love of his life girlfriend. Looks like they have plans to move in together. It has never worked out for him after the move in. The other took his passion at the time. Drumming. And managed to make a career out of it. Died in Vietnam Nam. I visit him at the wall though. Every few years. The draft. Being a boy and haunting my dreams. You. Nick. I went to my 10 year reunion not long ago. MR. Crush and I are Facebook friends but were never even really friends back in the day. Since then. He was a model for Lucky Brand Jeans and has moved up to the styling side behind the camera. He is still quite pretty. My husband came to the reunion and couldn't stop laughing when MR. Crush came up to me. Asked me what I was drinking. And I stammered Melo. MR. Crush proceeds to good naturedly and drunkenly. Tell hubs we had lockers next to each other one year and it would make sense my husband would be successful and handsome. Considering I was beautiful and a good student back then. Meanwhile. I was slowly melting against a wall. Drunk. Too many handsome men in front of me. Is it hot in here? No. Just me? If I could go back in time. 
I'd tell 15 year old me that someday she'd be married to a stud and the boy she could never, and still can barely, talk to thought she was beautiful all along. Edit. Sleeping on the couch while our daughter plays her iPad on his stomach. Making us some pizza. Crying because she decided to test the hotness of the stove with her hand. April. We go to Hawaii May. Getting her master's degree. But when she graduates she'll move in with me. We're married now. He spent a lot of time telling me that I was going to be a failure because I didn't pay much attention in school. And he was going to own a cruise line and be a billionaire by now. I just wanted to be an artist. So clearly that wasn't going anywhere. I was completely in love with him so I didn't realize how much of an asshole he was. I'm the director of a thriving non-profit and I'm currently paying my bills writing. I make a small profit on Patreon and have sold about 500 paperback copies this year of the serial I publish there. I'm not wealthy. But I'm really happy. And I'm doing what I love. And it's only getting better. Since I'm applying for graduate school now. He's still a shift manager at Starbucks. We're almost 30. She's married to me. I lucked out pretty good on that one. She had a couple complicated pregnancies. When she found out my newborn had landed in the Niku a couple months ago. She bought a few items off our Amazon baby registry. Meth. Sadly. Or happily. You never know.